primary and secondary roles. So secondary roles is a thing now. Uh, we can use secondary roles for a number of things. Uh, so let's talk about this a little bit. First of all, I've had a number of people asking me about primary roles. What's a primary role? Uh, primary role is what we've had all along in Snowflake. Um, so primary role is basically like our current role, for example. Uh, so when you go into Snowflake and, and you, you use the, the SQL command, use role sysadmin, or up in the top, you go and you select a role, or you have a default role that's set up for your user. So when you log in, in the context, you've got that role. That's your primary role. We're now calling that a primary role. In the past, it's just been called a role, um, maybe your current role. Um, but that's the primary role um, because now we've got secondary roles. So we need to differentiate those. So a couple of things is every session has a current role. Every session has a primary role. Um, and that's either uh, specified in the connection itself or again, like I mentioned, the default role that the user has set. If you don't have a uh, role, primary role set in your connection, or your user doesn't have a default role, when you log into Snowflake, your default role will be the public role. Um, and so every session is going to have a role. Um, so the primary role, one of the really important things to understand here is even if you have, have enabled secondary roles, and we'll, sh we'll show you in the demo how to do this and, and kind of how this works, there's some cool things there. But even if you enable secondary roles, it's, it's really important to understand that any creates that you're doing of any objects, um, the primary role is what is going to be used when you're creating objects. And so you, if you, if your primary role doesn't have the, the privilege to create an object where you are and you try to create that object, you're not going to be able to do that. Even if you're using secondary roles and one of your secondary roles has that privilege because it's the primary role that's used for creating objects and that role will be the owner of the object that you create unless you're using a future ownership grant. So if we have a future ownership of tables in a schema, and we, we use uh, our primary role to create a new table in that schema, and it's different than that future ownership, the owner of that table is going to be what we've specified in the future ownership grant. And so that's an important thing to understand. The other key thing here is that a session can have one and only one primary role active at any time. Even with secondary roles, that's the way that this works. Um, and so, Let's talk a little bit about secondary roles now, and then we'll talk about the diagram here below and, and how this works. So secondary roles can be used for all SQL operations, select, delete, you know, merge, you know, these, all these types of things, except for create, uh, as I just mentioned. The create is going to be using the primary role, and, and we'll look at an example of this when we do the demo. So, so this can be, you know, people are saying, well, what do we use the secondary roles for? This can be very useful if we, we have, a user, they've got a number of roles. Those roles give them access to different data. They want to be able to select on you know, some of these different tables, and they don't want to have to remember, oh, which role do I need to be in to get at this data, and which role do I need to be in to get at that data. When we use secondary roles, it will allow us uh, to, to be able to, to kind of mitigate that and make that, uh, make that really easy. Um, where we set the secondary roles, we can set those in a session. Uh, so there's some commands, and I'll show you in the demo how we can we can use those commands to set the secondary roles in our session, or we can define those as a as the the default uh, for the user. So we can alter the user, and and set the secondary roles there. When we set up a secondary role, when we or when we say we want to use secondary roles, we've got a couple of options. Uh, first of all, we can set so we're using all. Um, so basically, what that is is that all of our roles that are outside of our current primary role hierarchy would be available to us as a secondary role. If we set none, basically that's disabling secondary roles, but we also can put in a comma separated list of roles uh, for our secondary roles. So if we wanted to just use a couple of our roles as secondary roles, we could put in that comma separated list of roles, um, and then that would be our, our list of secondary roles that we would be using. Hey folks, thanks for checking out this cut from our broadcast. To see the full show, click on the link in the video description. Also, check out our learning center, which has white papers, events, live streams, and short explainer videos on a wide range of data management topics. And of course, 
If you like our content, please share it on LinkedIn. That really means a lot to us. Thanks again for checking us out, and we hope to see you in our next broadcast.